everybody, it's Friday! And you know what that means? It means that I'm back with another Friday Favorites video. Today's Friday Favorites video was brought to you by Sinead Katie's Collection. So my lipsticks kind of change every so often, but you know with, with me, I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but I'm always going for the same lipsticks. Like I do have kind of the similar shades from different brands, and maybe slightly lighter or slightly different formula, but I always seem to go for the same shades. And I just wanted to know what you guys think. Do you always go for the same shades? Do you always have like, do you have a collection of every different color, or do you always tend to go for reds, pinks, and neutrals, and like have a variety of different ones? Let me know. So I'm going to start off with my favorite nude shades, and I am obsessed with finding the perfect nude shade. So I have a few pretty good ones here that I like. I have one by Luminous Air, and this is called Nude Pink. The great thing about this is it lasts forever. It seriously just stays on there. I think it's a perfect kind of bridal color as well. I use this as my bridal video. I love this. It's kind of almost peachy pinky nude, you know, so it's it's kind of, it's still perfect for a smoky eye, it's still perfect for like a light lip, but you know, it just has a hint of pinky peach in there, so I really am a big fan of this. Next up is the nude shade by Rimmel, and this is from the Kate Moss collection, so it has the little Kate on it. This is number 03. I find myself going for this if I'm going for a really smoky eye kind of look, something very, very nude, kind of neutral shade. It's not extremely moisturizing, but it's not super matte either. It has no shimmer in it though, so it's kind of like a glossy, not so glossy, but not so matte kind of color. Next nude lipstick is by Catrice, and this is 010 or 010. Be Natural, and I love it. I love this color. This is kind of my new favorite one. I've been wearing this a lot because on the lips, it looks nude, but it's like a natural nude shade. It's not too, you know, peachy. It's not too pink. It's not too pale either, and it's not matte, and it's not kind of shimmery. It's kind of somewhere in between. It's just got a natural sheeny finish on the lips. Love it. Love, love, love. Now I have my pinks and my red colors. Now I actually have a pretty wide selection of pink and red colors, but I just picked my top three. This is by NYC. It is called Blue Rose, and I love this because this is perfect if you have a school, school, if you have a cool complexion, and it's the perfect way of telling if someone has a cool complexion. Pop this on your lips. If it looks beautiful, then you're cool. You're cool. Your cool tone and if it looks really kind of horrible and makes you look washed out then you are probably a warm color. Next up is my shocking red color and this is also by the Kate Moss collection by Rimmel because I bought three of them while they came out and I love this color. Oh my god look at that color like I just adore it. It's such a deep deep red color. On the lips it doesn't look as red as it does on the tube. It doesn't look as dark as it does on the tube. It just looks like the perfect kind of Ferrari deep red color. I love this for like, even if you're doing like a smoky eye pinup kind of girl look, beautiful lipstick for that reason. I seriously, I'm a big fan of most of the Rimmel lipsticks, but this is one of my favorite ones, and this is Zero Wild. This is my ultimate favorite, just so you guys know. This is my favorite, 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 favorite lipstick. I bought this um, because someone said it was a dupe for the Lady Gaga Glam by, by uh, MAC, and I decided, yes, Yes, it is. My friend showed me her alternatives to the both of them. They look identical together. It's crazy. Um, so this is a 006 pink blush. Beautiful for daytime. Beautiful for kind of a spring, summer kind of look. Love it. I'm saying love so many times. I do apologize. Everybody's going to be like, do you love it today? I love it. Next up, I have two lip glosses. And I decided to pick these because they're kind of um, really long lasting but they're alternatives to each other because this one is kind of a nudie, light, sheer side and this one's very high impact color. Stay With Me Long Lasting Lip Gloss by um, Essence and this is my favorite milkshake. What I love about this is the shape that it has because it has this unusual shape on it that it pops on your lips like this and it glides across and then it also does the upper ones. I've seen a few um, of the gurus in America talk about how much they love this. When I met up with a few of the gurus, Jen Murphy here on YouTube said that she was a big fan of these two and I have to agree. But my ultimate favorite, probably overall than all the other ones, is this NYC Liquid Lip Shine and this is in Fashion Avenue Fuchsia. I love this. I will tell you this now. This actually lasts longer than some of the MAC lip glosses. It's phenomenal. It's amazing. Definitely try this out. If you're looking for something that's not a lip gloss, that's not a lipstick, somewhere in between, this is it. Now, I just wanted to mention from a kind of a collection kind of 
point of view. In your collection, I think you should have at least two lip liners. One that's a nude color that will work with any kind of light pink or nude shades, and then something that's either a pinky or a red shade just to go with your red lipstick. Also, I want to show you guys this because a lot of you ask, like, how can you keep all your lipsticks in your um, makeup kit? I just got this, and this is just a watercolor kind of pot that you can get for paints but it has like a little clasp here, it pops up and it keeps all the colour inside for you. So I got two of these in a packet, filled them up with my favourite lipsticks and now I know that I definitely can see them, I know what's in here, I know I can use it on, on my clients and, and find a colour that's going to suit them because I can just be like, hmm, what's going to suit you? And yeah, I think it's kind of a handy thing. So if you are interested, then definitely check your local um, art store. Hope that you guys enjoyed my Friday favourites. I will talk to you soon. I'm Shanita Katie and thank you for watching. Bye bye.